hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see in the title, it is my sixth session at Harrison Ross with Andy for my knee. There is a slight potential this might be my last physio session. Fingers crossed. If not, I'm not too fussed. I'd rather get it sorted properly. Uh, but yeah, there is that potential that this can be the last session and I will be going back to playing football. It's all been going well recently as well. Um, all my weights have sort of gradually gone back up, which is good. Uh, really enjoying. Um, as hard as the leg sessions are every other day, I have been enjoying it. Um, but I am really looking forward to getting back to football. And it'll be interesting to see if I can get some sort of idea off Andy what I should be doing when I go back to playing football because I won't be able to keep up doing legs every other day. Um, it just won't be, it just won't work throughout the week. Um, but yeah, really interesting. I think we've got some hamstring testing today, if I remember rightly, and we might be looking at the way I run. That was just a bit of an ad additional one that I asked about. Um, just to make sure I'm running properly, uh, more than anything. The annoying thing is, it's a Wednesday, so if I do get cleared today and don't have to do any more physio sessions, I'd usually be going to play football tonight because uh, it'd be football training on a Wednesday. But England are in the semi-final against Denmark tonight, so football's been cancelled and we're all going to the pub instead, um, which can't really complain too much about. Um, but it has been three months since I played football. Pretty much, well, it was the 6th of April I did my knee and it is now the 7th of July. So, yeah, the only bit of football I've done is I had a little kick around with my brothers and my dad on the front garden, just playing one bounce on Father's Day. But, yeah, not really much more than that, to be honest. Um, so I am really looking forward to getting back, especially considering we'd already had, like, a four-month break from, well, three, three-and-a-bit-month break from Christmas with the, the extra lockdown. And then I had training and then played like 20 minutes of that game before I did my knee. So yeah, it's been practically six six months off playing football, essentially. Um, yeah, do miss it. But anyway, let's get in there, see what we're getting up to, and see what the verdict is. See you in there. Make sure you pump back enough to get my arse in, mate. <laughs> Might need to go back a bit further. Right. So, how has it been? Yes. Any issues with it at all? No awareness, any mechanical pain, anything like that no, whatsoever? There's just a bit of a slight ache the other night on the leg press. Okay. Nothing. An ache when you're on it or ache after you've finished? While well, I'm on it. Like only for the Where else do you get it? Just the, you know the same place that I said about when I drive? Yes. But then I just put my foot on it, it was alright. Okay, how do you, which position do you put your foot in to offset that pain? Uh, it was just the height of my feet. I so you just move your foot, yeah, you move your foot up higher, or you move them lower? I can't remember the way I did it to be fair. I'm sure it's higher or lower. Okay, no problem. No yeah. matter. Yeah, there was not nothing. Otherwise, not bothered you. No, it was more uncomfortable than an actual pain. Okay. Okay. Just a little walk. Should we look at his extension? Usually, with an ACL, which you hold all the time, but only went on two and a half years ago, aren't we, since you did your yeah. um, You have a lack of Lots of terminal extension of the ACL because the way it's sort of orientated it will turn the shin bone to allow for your knee to finish straight on. If someone lacks that and they come in and see and they've got a knee up there, you think you'd be a little bit worried about it. The other thing is an effusion, so a knee joint swelling. Sweep test. Sweep the medial side. You should get this little divot, which should be there anyway. And if you do that, and then this. Sometimes what you get, and not with George, you get a little bit of fluid sweeping into this area, but I check it. I always check three times anyway, minimum. So he's got no effusion. You get that if there's something wrong inside the joint, or that he'd done something this week and the last week that actually aggravated it, and he doesn't have that either. Can you bend your heel right away back to the line? Pull that as far as you can with anything at all. And come back. And exactly the same on the opposite side. I'm marking out of my middle finger, he's mostly there on, isn't it? There's no <laughs> different at all, is there? So, ACL test. If we then externally rotate it, if we externally rotate it, brings it, this will for you as well, this mate. If you externally rotate it, so your ACL goes downwards, forwards, and that way. Mm -hmm. right? So if you externally rotate it, it brings in the insertion point of your 
ACL that's up your shin bone. So if the last shin bone, take the leg. And the other thing in this position, I was saying to you a second ago when we were talking about ACL assessment, Yeah. In this position, with anti draw, you can sometimes get the cold traction of the hammock. So if you've got someone who's got relatively stiff hammocks or who trains an awful lot, the other way of doing it is a lapman's test. So just relax there and I'll just check and relax to it. So we drop him to a lesser degree of flexion, grab the back of his shin bone and draw it forward. And you compare that to the opposite side. Now George is a little bit more laxity on that side than he does on his left. Right? It's not massively noticeable, but pin his thigh down, his hamstrings won't work in this position. Draw. Shouldn't go forward now with a complete ACL tear. That'll just shake it right forward. Yeah, it'll glide forward and you'll notice it. You'll see the shin bone come forward. Hit. Definitely stop as you try and do that. So we know it's not got that. Right, today the plan was to try and review your hamstring stuff from your program. We'll look at that a little bit. As always, we'll start off with a little bit of your muscle control work, the balance work, and then we'll move in your hammy. Is that alright? Yes, sir. So we'll go and we'll go over this side. So we'll just get him to do a static squat with them on either side. We'll leave that there for a minute. We're going to stand just behind it and face the other end. So you pop that round your knees. How many sessions do you want us to smash between the last session and now? Uh, four, five. Cool. All right. Yeah. Got three one week, two the next. I think so, yeah. Set of eight, That's five right. second holds. We're just going to do one set I'll just to follow. that. <laughs> You're a strong bloke. I don't want it to feel like it's moving. Don't snap it because it'll cost me 20 quid. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, isn't it? It's not giving it. No. It's actually, you, you've got as much give as it's got in it, yeah. That's a good idea. It is a decent set, yeah. Yeah. We'll then put him in a challenging situation where he's going to be encouraged to allow some knee valgus on an unstable surface. We'll try and get him to do an isometric hold mm -hmm. in a small degree of knee bend, in an increasing degree of knee bend, and then we'll ask him to start moving through that range as well. And when he's done that, we'll do a little bit more work. Okay. Single leg, five degree bend. Try and hold and keep yourself hip, knee, second toe. Have a little go, jump his back over. Skin, you can see it beat, intoxicating your energy. First time in so long, you felt the heat. You've been doing opposite hand to leg, so if it was your left leg, it was your right arm. Yes. Perfect. And we're going to start this one on your left leg with your right arm down. And what I'm going to ask you to do is go down without ripping your pants and then drive up quick. All right? So I'll take it slow, steady down, and then drive up quick. Push that knee back. 
can probably get that left knee back a little bit. Yeah, as you come up further, you might need to drop your weight for this if you're doing slow and steady on 24. Might have given you a bit of a tougher weight to do. That's it. I've been thinking, lately it's just me against the world Round and round I'm caught up in this swirl Trying to dig and trying to burrow Pressure turned this stone into a pearl Lessons that I learned weren't always thorough Sugar coated like a churl Now I'm really out here on my own Now my homies acting like I owe I'm done extending out my arm Made a lot of money from my palms Been around and now they say I'm on I can finally say I'm up now I'm up now 20,000 on a bus down A bus down I'm on my way up going up now Up now And I ain't never gonna touch down Touch down So, oh, hello guys, very sweaty, um, I didn't record the last bit because I had to do two lots of two minutes around the running track, like that gym's got literally a 200 metre running track around the gym, it's mad. So yeah, I had to do two minutes, get as far as I could around the track, have a minute rest and then go for another two minutes, uh, and that's what my next lot of training is going to be based on, those sort of times to then push them down. Um, I'll talk about more of it in the future videos. Um, yeah, good session. Andy's quite happy with my progress. However, it wasn't my last session. Um, session. Uh, we've got 
Um, a couple more sessions that we need, mainly for like performance stuff now. It's not so much um, worries about many, it's more to just make myself as strong and quick as possible going back into football. So we're gonna request a couple more sessions from Booper. It's not the end of the world. Um, obviously, I would have enjoyed going back to football after today, but I, I did think it was a bit, a little bit too quick, um, considering I haven't done too much running and agility work with Andy, which is what's going to be coming up soon. He did say uh, we may only need two, possibly three sessions, so hopefully I'm back playing within the next month or so, um, which would be ideal. Um, but yeah. It is what it is. I'd rather go back as strong as possible. Oh, I'm still tired. I've, I've not long finished that run. I literally finished the second run and then came out and that was my session done. Pretty much a little bit of feedback and then out. I am sweating buckets. So it's not quite the end of the knee rehab series just yet on my YouTube. Maybe a couple more episodes. But if you are enjoying it, make sure you drop a like. Uh, if you're new, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.